It was sentencing day for drug lord Joaquin El Chapo Guzman. Good evening, I'm Jesse Dopali. And I'm Matt Hogason. The man who twice escaped from Mexican prisons will now spend the rest of his life behind bars at a supermax facility in the United States. Marcela Bayero spoke with local defense attorneys about the Chapo's footprints in Arizona. Marcela? As El Chapo's sentencing wrapped up in New York, here in Arizona, legal experts mentioned that the drug trade that passes through Arizona is much bigger than just one man. This sketch shows the moment the infamous Chapo Guzman learned today he'll be spending the rest of his life in prison, plus an additional 30 years behind bars and the ordered repayment of over $12.5 billion in drug money. A lot of that coming from drugs smuggled through southern Arizona. There's a definite uh, connection to federal criminal law violations uh, alleged uh, to have been committed here in the state of Arizona under federal law. El Chapo, whose real name is Joaquin Guzman Loera, was convicted in February after a three-month trial. The charges included narcotics trafficking, using a firearm for drug crimes, and participating in a money laundering conspiracy. Authorities say El Chapo is responsible for countless deaths and the trafficking of incalculable tons of drugs as head of the feared Sinaloa cartel. Tucson-based criminal defense attorney Stephen G. Rawls represented the Chapo's brother in another drug case. Uh, whether or not Chapo received a fair trial will be determined or assessed uh, at the next level, which, which will be the Court of Appeal. Outside the Brooklyn courthouse today, attorneys from both sides spoke about the sentencing. Today brings a measure of justice for the American people. It brings a measure of justice for the country of Mexico, whose institutions were corrupted for decades by Mr. Guzman and the Sinaloa cartel. You're never going to remove the stink from this verdict due to the failure to order a hearing on the misconduct of the jury in this case. According to the U.S. Treasury Department, as of 2013, the Tucson and Phoenix areas are major shipment and distribution points for the Sinaloa cartel in the United States. And even as El Chapo will now spend the rest of his life behind bars, legal experts say not much will change in the Arizona drug trade. But the reality is uh, uh, in that type of business, uh, once the main uh, person is gone, there's dozens of people waiting uh, uh, to take uh, his place. There's still no official word on exactly where El Chapo would be serving his sentence, but these legal experts did mention that most likely it will not be here in Arizona. At the Digital Desk, Marcelo Bayero, Cronkite News.